To farm in Maine takes patience and the ability to adapt. Third generation fruit farmer Aaron Libby has watched winters become milder and less predictable. In our continuing series on Maine's changing climate, News Center Maine's David Guildford reports that with these challenges, Libby and others are also seeing an opportunity growing a fruit typically found much farther south. We're in the growing season. Things are starting, you know, the growth is coming. Uh, you know, these are all your fruit buds here. It's springtime at the Libby Farm in Limerick, Maine. These will open up and it'll be a, a cluster. Aaron Libby and his team are hard at work, trimming bushes and trees across his 40-acre fruit orchard. The third-generation fruit farmer first showed us around last year and explained how milder winters have affected his crops. An earlier season is great. It gets things going. I mean, especially for us, we, you know, we want uh, to open the earliest that we can be open. However, when you get the blossoms open, those blossoms are very, very tender. Maine's changing climate has impacted his farm by way of milder winters, earlier spring, and unpredictable thaws and cold snaps. So we have all the charts depending on the, like, this is for blueberries here. Libby uses data collected by universities to determine accurately how much cold his blueberries can take at each point in their growth. It's close to an exact science. We're past bud cell, but not quite a, a tight cluster. So, you know, I, we can take, you know, down 15 degrees right now, you know, wouldn't be too bad. The farm saw an average winter this year with just enough snowpack to insulate the trees. It's right on pace for a strong July opening. But while he has charts and decades of knowledge on blueberries and apples, downhill from the traditional main crops, climate change is allowing Libby to take a gamble. 20 years ago, 30 years ago, to have uh, five acres of uh, peaches in the ground, you know, would be very... Uh, uh, very risky, that's for sure. It's still risky now, um, but so the, those are some of the advantages that you're getting with you know, a, l a longer growing season and, and less uh, cold temps. Libby said Maine peach farms are still on the northern edge of viability. Luckily, they're not in this venture alone. Uh, farmers share their experiences with me and they ask me to help them solve their big problems and little problems like what varieties to plant, Dr. Renee Moran is a problem solver for Maine farmers. The Umaine tree fruit specialist works with 80 farms and has not only observed the rise in peach popularity, she's busy growing 20 varieties of her own in a search for the one that produces the best fruit in Maine's climate, a valuable fruit at that. So even though they don't uh, yield very well, the price makes it worthwhile. And the way peaches can draw in customers makes it worth having them. And customers will come get them. The Libby Farm has shifted to 100% pick your own. Peaches are just as pickable. If you can actually let them stay, get it on nice and ripe on the tree so you get the flavor. So there's a huge demand for them. If Moran's work produces hardy trees that become less risky for farmers like Libby, the peach could eventually stop being exotic in our neck of the woods and become just as recognizable during a fall orchard stroll. In Limerick, David Guilford, New Center, Maine. In addition to climate change, Aaron Libby said he's facing other challenges his grandparents didn't, including fire blight. That tree disease spreads more rapidly in warmer temperatures, and UMaine reported that a 2020 outbreak was the worst here in 30 years.